20,000 Jersey around the clock. This is News 12, New Jersey. I'm Eric Lanskroner. A major turn of events in an ongoing Cane in Your Corner investigation into the Helmetta Regional Animal Shelter. The Middlesex County Prosecutor's Office has dropped felony animal cruelty charges and kicked the case to municipal court. Now there are questions about how this case was handled. Walt Cane's been investigating conditions at the shelter since last summer. Right, what's going on here, Walt? Why, why the change here? Well, Eric, you know, animal rights activists are outraged. The Middlesex County Prosecutor's Office won't comment on why the felony charges were dropped, but shelter opponents are asking some pretty serious questions. Why was this decision made before many key witnesses were even interviewed? And was there the appearance, at least, of a possible conflict of interest? Here we are dealing with people who abuse animals and, you know, basically get a jaywalking ticket. Animal rights activists surprised and angry by the Middlesex County Prosecutor's Office's decision to drop felony charges against the former directors of the Helmetta Regional Animal Shelter. To have it downgraded from felony charges to municipal charges, I mean, it's just it's flooring me. The court administrator's office confirms the most serious charges against former shelter directors Michael and Richard Chellis were quietly dropped earlier this month. The case kicked down to municipal court at the request of the prosecutor's office. The decision coming almost four months to the day the state SPCA and county health department closed the shelter down because of disease-ridden conditions. There were some animals that were very, very sick. There were animals that were near death. Some have serious questions about how this decision was made. The shelter's former veterinarian, Dr. Alan DuBowie, says he and other shelter insiders were never even interviewed by investigators. The fact that nobody even questioned us, why, why not? Why uh, not question people that were actually first-hand witnesses? Questions, too, about personal relationships. When Michael Chellis applied for the shelter director position, one of her references was the assistant county prosecutor. It's too much of a conflict of interest. That should have either left the county, gone down to Trenton. I mean, leaving it in Middlesex, the reach is just way too far. The head of the state SPCA, which investigated the case, declines to criticize the prosecutor's office, but makes it clear he's not happy with the decision. Disappointed in that decision, uh, but, you know, things will move forward now on, on a local basis, and we'll see where that takes us, and hopefully we'll be able to get justice in this. There is, however, a very big difference between county and municipal court. The Chellises had been facing up to 15 years behind bars. Now they are likely facing a fine of up to $1,000. I contacted the prosecutor's office. I wanted to ask them, of course, why drop the felony charges before key witnesses were interviewed? And what about the assistant prosecutor, who was a reference for the defendant? Did they know about that? Did they believe that it created the appearance, at least, if not the reality, of a conflict of interest? The prosecutor's office never responded. Do you know something I need to investigate? Call 732-738-KANE or email caneinyourcorner at news12.com or find me on Facebook at Kane in Your Corner. Walt, ever since you started this investigation, uh, the state SPCA really seemed to think the felony charges were a sure thing here. Why are they not seeing, in your opinion, eye to eye with what's going on with the county? Well, certainly, Eric, you're right. There's, there's always been a disconnect between the state SPCA and the Middlesex County Prosecutor's Office. Not clear to this point why, but, but you know, the, at the SPCA at one point was talking about possibly hundreds of, of counts being filed, and, and then it wound up being six, only three of which were felonies and now those felony counts have been downgraded. So for whatever reason, there's obviously been uh, those two agencies, one that had investigated and the other that had to prosecute, not seeing eye to eye on how this should be done. All right, well, thank you.